Welcome to the third season of the Nerfa Spotlight program, a music video competition done in conjunction with our partners at B&H Photo, North America's largest retailer of audiovisual gear, and our wonderful partners who have been helping out countless members of the community by reaching out to them at bh at nerfa.org, uh, where they're happy to help you figure out how to enter this new virtual audiovisual side of the world. There's a long-standing question, what makes a good song? And for years, uh, Nerfa has had panels on songwriting, turns of phrase, uh, a good hook. It's really only been the last couple of years that the visual aspect of songwriting has really been talked about within our community. and. The Spotlight program is really focused on that because the fact of the matter is, it was well over 30 years ago that someone pointed out video killed the radio star and MTV's been around since the mid 80s. With it came a completely different way of taking in music. This Spotlight season uh, is going to recognize three other wonderful artists from three wonderful judges, Cheryl Kagan, Marilyn Senator, a longtime host of the Folk and Great House Concert Series and her four or five year long standing inauguration concert series for charities. Uh, we have Ariel Weiner, who's one of the founders and uh, head producers at Ari Productions. Uh, Ari is a spectacular young artist in his own right. He's a fantastic musician, uh, Berkeley kid, uh, but he's embraced the video side of the world. He's worked in live stream and he's worked in video production. Uh, so he lended his thoughts as a judge and we're really happy to have him. And last, certainly not least, is one of the most prolific songwriters on the East Coast, Jonathan Bird. Uh, the man who is most likely to have written that song that's stuck in your head, but you don't know who wrote it. Uh, Jonathan, as an artist who spent the last year and a half pivoting to really incorporate and make the virtual presentation a regular part of how he interacts with his audience. We just want to thank everyone for participating. This season marks uh, giving well over $2,000 back to the community for them to reinvest in their own careers. Again, we want to thank b &H Photo. Uh, they have been wonderful partners throughout this, as well as our regular workshop and panel series. And lastly, I want to point out, whether you're watching this when we release the video or you're watching it a year from now, the NERFA virtual conference is this November, but it will live online for years to come. It's a wonderful place to have conversations about how the music scene is and landscape is changing. And uh, we think you should check it out at NERFA, N-E-R-F-A 2021.com. Go over there and see what we're up to with that. Let's hand it over to the judges. <laughs> okay, this is different. Killer sound. So from the very first moments of this video, it made me smile. The cartoon characters, the twangy music, and the jib-jab type of... This is so simple. I mean, I'm sure it took an incredible amount of effort but it's a very simple style there's so much attention to detail in this all the animation styles really great even just watching the the fish swim wow this is fantastic because like if you heard this song the video gives you something that you wouldn't otherwise have i love the kitty I love the little bell. That's very cute and very clever. And I think it's great to take such a great concept like this. Such a universal concept. Um, and then apply it to a cat. It's a cat with the earmuffs. This is fantastic because like, if you heard this song, the video gives you something that you wouldn't otherwise have. Those are chainsaws. <laughs> <laughs> This is really funny. This is really funny. I mean, it just does such a good job of, you know, even with all this action and all this storytelling happening, it still shows you there's music and there's instruments being played with the slide guitar and just showing it over and over again. I really like that. The chorus sets up 
just such a wonderful twofer. He loves his kitty, but it obviously could be used for the uh, partner, a human partner, and not just a feline partner. It's got a Tom Petty vibe, right? Just like impeccable production. I like the cartoon nature combined with the real video of the human musicians. So I'm personally not a cat person, but I'm feeling for this cat right now. This is so great. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I mean, I'm glued the whole time. We do love our kitties, don't we? That is really entertaining, Bruce. Wow, Bruce did such a great job. Um, whoever directed this video, this is just so clever. Um, I, I want to watch this over and over and over again. This is amazing. And now I want to buy a cat, maybe. Probably not. Adorable. I think Bruce did a great job with this video, and uh, I like the the cat. I like the bell. I like the tune, and I loved the the jib jab um, animation. Very good job, Bruce. Congratulations. It was pretty obvious that this was the first place video. Look. I love the bump and the way that when she closes the car trunk, it's right on that beat. So from the very opening, I liked the darkness that sets the stage. She's clearly leaving, packing up her car. Yeah, I love the handheld of the camera. I think that's really, really a good call for something as uh, uneasy and emotionally unsettling as this. It makes it feel more personal. The video is moody, like the song is moody. Crappy weather, dark sky, the theme is clear. It fits with the theme. It's probably about a man um, who is not worth the whiskey. Just my guess. <laughs> and then it pulls out and you see the whiskey bottle. Whoa, breaking the blues. Really, really great. Oh, and now the flame? Oh, what a nice touch. And I love that, uh... She's not singing right away. I really, really like that. Uh, we sort of see her acting the part. It's more storyboarded. It sort of gives more of a message. And there we go. Now she starts singing. I don't think there's a bass in here. There's no bass guitar. It's all down to that footstool. Huh. It's cold. She's turning on the heat. Okay. There's clearly like a production team on this. Maybe a director of photography. This is really, really good. Incredible dynamic range. Like, I hate to break the mood, but it's hard to get a flame in a video without totally blowing it out and still get the other stuff. It's a technical note. It's hard to do. Oh, I love when there's that out of focus sort of flickering light up front, and then we sort of see the in focus subject in the back. I think that is a really, really good production trick. Drinking more, trying to drown her sorrows not in a healthy way oh and the green lighting is really 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 cool yeah that's awesome it really makes you feel the anxiety in that moment that's that's awesome it's like the color of the video is getting sick and she's getting sick still got a little bit of the shakiness in the handle it's probably on a gimbal but i like that it's a little bit shaky i think that that adds to the emotion of it just a bit i don't think there's a bass in the song there's no bass I like the way the song wraps up with her passing out, falling asleep. You know, with a video, music video like this, I think it's really, really important, uh, especially when the message is super clear. I mean, not worth the whiskey. It's about a man. She's go either dealing with a breakup or she's dealing with maybe um, her, her partner had cheated on her. Um, but I think that, you know, with such a simple concept, having like a powerful storyboarded music video is really the way to do it. And that's what's really evident in this music video. So I really, really like this one. Cool. Again, not super clever, but not easy. Great cinematography. 
Great voice, great arrangement. Like taking the bass out. Good stuff, Sarah. I loved Sarah King's video for the way that it tied so beautifully the lyrics and the video of the song. The theme worked um, and the, the whole video came together really well. I thought this one was excellent and believe it deserved recognition. Congratulations, Sarah King. Nicely done. school <laughs> that's awesome from the very beginning is so intriguing wow the moment he started singing i'm just captivated oh uh, yeah the drums feel great the mix is balanced this arrangement's nice and then movers start coming in masked movers and i like the handheld look crunchy Great sounds. I love how, you know, this, I wouldn't necessarily think of this as folk right away, but really if you think about it, the sort of the expansion of American music, um, it's something that sounds very 90s, very 2000s, um, but in the context of the 2020s, yeah, this is part of the umbrella of Americana and folk music. The musicians are not paying any attention to the movers. They're just bopping along in their 1970s attire, their 1970s haircuts, Attention to detail, the 70s are alive here. I really like the quick cuts, it adds some more of this variety. Is that, I mean, Red Kaiser in the 70s? I don't know, guys. <laughs> it's cool, I think they're messing with you. I think they're messing with your mind. The contrast between today's masked reality and the era that they are, that the performers are ostensibly living in, that contrast is intriguing. Oh man, this took a crew. You can tell this took a production crew. Uh, and I really, really appreciate uh, videos that really go to these efforts because I think that it really is worth it um, in telling this story. Um, Marigold, this is, this is really great. Musical Bridge. Oh, messing with the beat. The retro 70s look is it's still just so, that's, it's so cool. I'm not from the 70s, but I've seen Stranger Things. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm talking about. Volume to the music, they take away the amplifier. Oh, I love the EQ suck right there. It really adds to it. Cool. And it is cool. It's so surreal, right? Okay, now the sofa, where the lead singer was sitting, is going away. The volume comes back up. The tacky carpet is still there. Oh, no it's not. Now the tacky carpet goes away. I, I like, I'm still trying to figure out what the message is to the song, but I, I sort of like the open-endedness to it. <laughs> Again, not easy, but simple. Even the walls. The wood paneling walls. Oh, there goes the walls. <laughs> Music continues no matter what. Everything's going, except for their instruments. That's really cool. What a great concept. What a great, great story. Sweet little flashback to what the beginning was like. That was cool. Almost subliminal. Where we began. Where we are. It's simple in, in its idea, but I think it's really, really tough to execute something like this. And uh, Marigold and their production team does such a great job with this video. Um, oh, it's fantastic. I really, really like this. Beautiful, guys. Wow. Yeah, this took some people. Entertaining, a lot of fun, and a toe-tapping song. Congratulations, Mary Gold. Well done. I want to do that with my band. Let's make a video like that. Where we deconstruct the world around us. Super cool. Like I said, I, I think the message is a bit open-ended, but I think that's what makes art exciting. Um, I, I'm happy 
for me to feel something about this and then the next person who's going to watch this will feel something totally different. Um, but it makes you feel something and I think that's what's so powerful about this video. I would be regretful if I wasn't able to mention American Patchwork Quartet's uh, rendition of Wayfaring Stranger. I think that this video and arrangement and song was all really, really beautifully done. Uh, I loved watching it and I thought it had a really deeply powerful and impactful message about um, the ever-changing and um, multifaceted meaning of what it means to be a Wayfaring I'm just Stranger. A poor wayfaring stranger traveling through I just want to give a shout out to the three videos that I loved that were political videos uh, that didn't quite make the top three, but we were all very impressed by the songs and by the video. Uh, Chris Matthews, always a powerful performer uh, with a strong message. Megan Carey who did a wonderful piece on women's strength just after we celebrated the centennial of the 19th Amendment, Women's Right to Vote, and it's a very empowering feminist uh, video. And then uh, Aaron Nathans and Michael Ronstadt uh, did a wonderful piece on, uh, on voting and claiming the importance of the franchise. So it seems irresponsible for me if I didn't uh, give them a shout out as well. Great songs, important messages, great videos. Keep everybody doing what you're doing. Congratulations. Thanks to everyone who entered. Hope that more people will uh, submit even next quarter so that next time uh, the judges will have even more from which to choose. Good luck. Stay safe.